In this video, we're gonna try to find the critical value of uh, a right-tailed T distribution. Alpha is gonna be 0 0.025 and N is gonna be 13. So we can start always with degree of freedom, which is equal to N minus one, and that's gonna be 12, 13 minus one. Then if you could graph it, it would help tremendously to understand the problem so we have a right tailed so the alpha location is going to be on the right side so this is going to be my alpha and because only one tail it can be the totality of the alpha over there so once we define the alpha the t critical is going to be right here on the t-axis right so this is the t-axis and the t critical it can be the boundary between the alpha and the other area all right and we know it is on the right side so it can be uh, greater than zero because zero in the middle so right now if we're gonna use the calculator we will need the degree of freedom and we need as well the left area to the t critical shaded here in green and you're gonna stop when the alpha starts right so this is the left area that i'm going to provide to the calculator so now if i know the total area is under the bell shape it can be one and i know this one is 0 0.025 so this is going to be one minus 0 0.025 if I do the calculation, this is going to be 0 0.975. Okay, so the left area is going to be 0 0.975. I get this area, I get degree of freedom. I have uh, the ingredient to feed it to the calculator and get my critical point. So we start with, uh, let me turn on the calculator. I'm going to go to the distribution menu and that's going to be second and bars. And then I'm going to go to the inverse T, which is number four. Enter. So the area that I'm looking for is 0.975. And the degree of freedom again be 12. Enter, paste, enter. And so the T critical would be 2.17. And if I run that, it can be known. Right, so that was the first method. The second method, I'm gonna graph again my alpha, and the alpha is gonna be a, a right tail. So alpha is gonna be 0 0.025. And then I'm gonna use the fact that this distribution is symmetrical. So I'm gonna have, if this is gonna be my T critical over here, so the the opposite side which is symmetrical to that which you're gonna have the area 0 0.025 you're gonna have the opposite of the t critical if i determine this i just need to suit the sign all right so let's uh, try to plug it in i clear the this one i'm gonna go to second bars number four inverse t enter and in here I'm gonna enter is 0 0.025 and degree of freedom is the same I'm gonna paste it enter and let's see what's gonna happen and they get the T critical negative 2.179 again all right so if I get this value here which is the opposite T critical is obviously here I can determine this one it could be 2.179 all right and they get my result as well so it's up to you which method you want to use you can use the difference one minus alpha to get the left area or you could use the symmetry as well all right